All right, guys, let's talk about this disgusting loss, uh, the worst loss of the Sacramento Kings season. Final score from Los Angeles, 104-88. to um, I'm so glad I was not there tonight in the building because I can only imagine to all the Kings fans that were in, in that building tonight um, how they felt uh, the worst first half of the season in quite some time, only scoring 29 points in a freaking half. And this team really disappointed tonight. They took the piss tonight, honestly, um, especially after having three days off. Um, they did not play good basketball. And let's look at the numbers real quick. Sabonis got 40 minutes tonight. He had 24 points, 15 boards, 4 assists. De'Aaron Fox in 43 minutes. He had 29 points, 7 boards, 7 assists. Keegan Murray in 40 minutes. He had 10 points, 9 boards, 4 assists. DeMar DeRozan. 36 minutes, he had 16 points, 6 boards, 2 assists, and Kevin Herter. 29 minutes for Kevin Herter tonight, 0 points. Unacceptable, man. Unacceptable. He had 3 rebounds as well. Let's take a look at the bench. Trey Lyles, 18 minutes, he had 3 points, 4 boards. Keon Ellis, 16 minutes, he had 1 point. Jordan McLaughlin, 8 minutes, he had 0 points. I'm laughing because looking at these numbers, they're just terrible. They're horrendous. Kobe Jones was probably the best player bench player tonight and I've been hard on Kobe Jones early on for the season um he had six uh minutes tonight he had five points and Doug McDermott had three minutes tonight he had zero points he had one rebound um you know other than Fox Demo Sabonis and you know DeRozan this team was straight up ass tonight this was a terrible performance I mean god you had three you had three days off what the hell happened? I mean, did you guys party too hard? What did you What did you guys do during those three days off? Um, I guess I'm more disappointed with the effort and play because you should be well rested. You should be um, able to be compete in tonight's game because you're well rested and you didn't. You got smoked in that first half. You only scored 29 points in that first half. I mean, bogus horrendous and the bench has been flat out ass this season um you know this is the worst bench i've seen since the maloof brothers era towards the end of the maloof brothers era back when we were at arco arena this was a straight up ass piss poor performance and, I'm, and you know what i'm gonna be hard i'm gonna be hard you are now eight and eight on the season you're basically a 500 team uh, you're two and three in the Pacific Division. The two wins that you have in the Pacific, you beat a Phoenix Suns team without Kevin Durant, and you lost to a Clippers team. Not lost. Both games, you got smoked by a Clippers team that didn't have Norman Powell tonight, their leading scorer for the Clippers. And you already know they're missing Ka Kawhi Leonard. And you still got smoked. You still got smoked. I'm just disappointed, man. I really, this is, I really, really want to turn this game off because they just didn't have it tonight. They did not want it tonight. You know, yes, Keegan Murray, I am really, really disappointed with Keegan Murray and the way he started out and the way he came out starting in the first quarter of that game. Um, he looked lost on the offense end. He wasn't moving. He was just standing around. He was way too damn passive. You know, Keegan Murray's got to be better. Keegan Murray has to be better. And Kevin Herter's been terrible. You cannot be the starting shooting guard and not score a zero. You cannot not score a point. Kev, you got to be better. You know, Keegan and Kevin Herter, two of your starters, combined for 10 points tonight. And that was all from Keegan Murray. And that too. That wasn't the best effort when it comes to Keegan Murray's offense. You know, at first, I was really hoping that, I was really thinking that Mike Brown might have gassed up Keegan Murray too much early on, just having to guard one through four. But tonight, who did he have to guard? I mean, yeah, at times we, had, we saw him on James Harden, but... Uh, he's got to be better. Offensively, he's got to be better. He didn't seem like he was gassed up tonight. He seemed fresh. We had three days off. And, boy, 
I guess, asking for a couple of days off. And especially when you're coming off playing five games in seven nights was too much to ask for, I guess. The Kings got their work cut out for them, man. This is not Sacramento Kings basketball right now. You know, this team just does not look good right now. Yes, they made a comeback in the second half. They got it going. They cut the lead to single digits, but still, still it wasn't good enough. It wasn't good enough. And it's really alarming and disappointing to see this, man. Especially having the couple days off that you had. And I was hoping for a good game tonight. I was up, I expected the Kings to come out and play their A game tonight. They didn't do that tonight. They stunk it up. They played terrible. The bench has, has been terrible. They, they will continue to be terrible. Even with Malik Monk coming back, if he does come back, whenever that is, this bench was terrible with Malik Monk coming off the bench. And they are worse than last season. Let's face it. This bench is probably the worst bench in the NBA currently right now. Uh, with or without Monk, they are the worst bench in the league. And they're just not good. Other than DeMar DeRozan, Fox, and Sabonis, uh, with the up and down Murray, with the up and down Herder, the, the Kings are not really good right now, man. They are not really good. And it's disappointing to see that. Honestly speaking, it's disappointing to see that. You know, we're 16 games into the season. There's no excuses for this shit. This team should be firing on all cylinders by now. Since we're about 15, 16 games in the season. You know? The three-point shooting continues to be woes, you know? It's not good. It was good for a few games here and there, but it hasn't been consistently good. And that's got to change. It has to be consistent. That has to be better moving forward. Um, You know, Mike Brown got destroyed tonight. He got outcoached. Every time the Kings had a momentum... Ty Lue called the timeout, and he killed all momentum with his timeouts. You know, shout out to Ty Lue and the Clippers. They, they they play better tonight. They're a scrappy team without their two uh, two of their best uh, players that they're missing tonight besides Harden. And they still smoke the Kings. They still smoke the Kings with their three star players. Yeah, I'm pissed off. Yeah, I'm disappointed. Um, But, man, play better than what you did tonight. The next game's on Sunday night against the Brooklyn Nets. It will be a home game. They're back in Sacramento. And I want to hear from you, I want to hear from you guys. Though. Let me know your guys' thoughts on tonight's game. Um, greatly appreciate you guys tuning in. I'm just fed up. I'm disappointed after tonight's loss. I'm really disappointed in the effort and the lackluster defensively. I'm defending the three-point line. And the inability to adjust and make adjustments and just the inability to shoot the three, the three from beyond the arc. Really disappointed tonight in particular, overall, just the way we played and the effort. Really hoping that we bounce back Sunday night. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.